Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be in Dirt 5 and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to drive the Sprint car in Dirt 5 because it seems like a lot of people have been having uh, difficulties with driving the Sprint car and it takes a little bit of a learning curve, um, especially online uh, when you're racing around other people. Uh, you know, that, that can be really, really challenging. But the best thing that I can recommend is that you go into offline and go into arcade mode and you select the sprint car and you go to East Mitten Raceway in Arizona, which is the oval, the sprint car track. And I recommend you just kind of, kind of go out there with zero other cars and just yourself and you go out there and kind of just race and do laps and see how you do. A lot of it is throttle modulation. You've got to use the R2 button gently. You don't want to just hold R2 all the way around because you're going to slide into the wall or overcorrect and um, crash into the fence. So. You don't want to do that. You really just want to modulate that R2 button and fluctuate the amount of pressure that you put in because you're going to be doing that a lot. Because if you hold the R2 button down too far left, you're going to see the car is going to want to go to the left way too much because these cars are designed to go left all the time. So it's all about using the throttle to steer the car even more. I mean, you're going to use the analog stick, but just keep in mind the more throttle you use, the more slide you're going to get. Your car is going to angle more left, but it's also going to slide further with more power. So you kind of have to do a balancing act between how much throttle and how much steering you, that you put into the car at all times. And that is how you drive the sprint car. Uh, generally speaking, you want to be in the 14 seconds per lap. That is a re really good speed. If you can do like a 14.5 or a 15.0, those are good lap times. Anything higher than 15.0, you're really leaving a lot on the table. And you definitely don't want to hit the wall at, at all because the wall will grab your car and it'll just lock, it, lock you in to prevent wall riding. So let's go ahead and start with um, another thing that you should probably keep in mind is the fact that the lower groove, the lower lane is the fastest lane, but you don't want to get so close to where you bounce off of the inside. Because if you hit the inside wall, your car is going to bounce way right and you're going to be really, really um, correcting the steering non-stop. So you kind of want to leave a little bit of room between your left front tire and the wall, and you kind of just want to hover that lane all the way around. So you can see the gameplay in the background kind of shows what you want to do and it's a lot easier to show it than actually explain it because there's so much that goes up into the steering of the car. So I just wanted to kind of make this tutorial to try to help some people because I saw a lot of people online on Dirt 5 playing in the sprint car and they seem to be struggling quite a bit at controlling their car. So I hope this tutorial helps you whether it's for career mode, whether it's for online or just for fun. Um, this is how you drive the sprint car in Dirt 5. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time uh, with another video.